Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to change currency on your Shopify store in 2023. Adapting your store currency to your customer preferences can significantly improve your shopping experience and boost conversions. So in this video, I'll guide you through the steps or the simple steps to seamlessly change the currency settings of your Shopify store. So make sure to stick by let's dive right into it and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience first let's start by accessing your shopify store so open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser make sure to go to the url section and simply type shopify.com and hit the enter button so sorry should be here just shopify.com and hit the enter button that should take you to the home screen or main screen of shopify.com if you have an account you can always go and click at login to login into your account if you don't you can scroll down read more information about this shopify and this home screen so you have a main idea and familiarize yourself with it to create an account for yourself by clicking on start free trial you'll have a three days free trial for every store that you open unless you go and get a plan from here as you can see so you can go and get a plan for yourself pause to see all the features and as you can see so pause the video to see all the features and read them by your own for me i'm just going to scroll down through them here so for me i'm just going to log in into my account or into my store right away as you can see when i click on login they'll log me right into my account because i already did that before so it didn't ask me to enter my credentials for you they may ask you to do that if you didn't save your credentials while logging in the first time so it's not going to be a big deal if you just log in into your account. If you just created your account, you'll simply have to complete the setup guide. As you can see, you'll have to add your first products, customize your online store, add pages to your store, organize your store navigation, add a custom domain, then name your store. If you already have done this, that will be even great. So now, once you access your Shopify store or your Shopify account, you will have to go to settings on this left uh, or bottom left panel. If you click on it, once you do so, of course, or as we said, we would like to change the currency on your Shopify store. So now, as you can see, if we go to the store details, or we'll basically find ourselves on it. So as you can see, we have here profile, billing information, and here we have the store currency. So the currency of your products are sold in for your payout currency, you can go to the payment settings. So from here, you'll be able to change the store currency depending on whatever suits you. At the moment, I have MAD as the store currency, but of course, I can change it to USD, to Euros, GPB, uh, Canadian dollars, whatever I want. So from here, change it to whatever you want. As an example, let's just choose USD dollars. But as you can see, some apps can only support certain currencies. You can go and see, like as an example, if you have some apps in your uh, Shopify store here, they may not work as an example, but USD it will definitely work with all the apps. So don't worry about that, unless the developer is not uh, is Russian or something like that. So as an example here, if we go to app, as you can see, so before even downloading any app, as an example, just even close this, we don't need this. So let's just even discard these changes. Go to apps here as an example and apps and sales channel, Shopify app store. And let's close this at the moment. So here before downloading any app as an example, let's just go to this one. Make sure that they are meeting with the USD. Of course, you will find that on the feature so, or even in the description. So make sure that you read them all and read everything about any app before downloading it to see if it's compatible with your USD. So, or whatever currency you're going to change into. So once you change your currency, as an example, as we said, like USD, you can simply even go from here to change the formatting. So as you can see, uh, current formatting, change how currencies are displayed on your store. So amount, amount, new decimals will be replaced with the price of your products. So as you can see, HTML with currency, HTML without currency, email with currency, and email without currency. You can do that if you want to. For me, I'm just going to list this as it is, as the currency it is. And of course, other than that, you can even change the currency of your products are sold in. So you can do that for the payout currency. You can go to the payment settings. If you go to the payment settings, as you can see, you can uh, add some payments providers. So as you can see, providers that's enabled you to accept 
So sorry, I, as I said, providers that enable you to accept payments from methods are at a rate set by third party. An additional fee will apply to new orders once you select a plan. So just go and select a plan for yourself already. And of course, as you can see, supported payments method, we have here PayPal. You can even go and add other additional uh, payments methods. So let's simply click on that. And as you can see, you can search payments method by, uh, by payments method. As you can see, we have Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and a lot of other stuff that you can check from here. Or you can search by provider depending on the provider that you want. So we have the two checkout, Convert Plus, Air Wallex, Coinbase Commerce, Credits or Debits Card. So whatever you want here. So now let's just go back and you can even go and add like some manual uh, payments method. So payments that are made outside of your online store. When a customer selects a manual payments method such as cash on delivery, you will need to approve their order before it can be fulfilled. You can add manual payments method and as you can see, we have four options. You can create a custom payments method or bank deposits, money order or cash on delivery or code. And finally, we have the payments customization. So there are new apps installed at the moment uh, with payments methods customization. You can visit the Shopify ad store to install one. So as an example, if you have your supported payments method that you want to add to your store here, that will be even great uh, to simply go and activate it and add it to your Shopify store. But you, if you want to add like a payments provider that is not available here in the settings already, uh, if you want to choose this from here, as an example, if you didn't find it, you can simply uh, go to the Shopify app store. And from here, as an example, I'm just going to see for and uh, look for Pioneer as an example. Go and look for that. And here you'll find the apps that you want. So uh, go and install the app. And once you install the app, you will find this here on the payment uh, customization and you will be added or added to your Shopify store. Once you do so, just quit all of that. Go to the select panel, go to online store. And if you have your products on online store, that will be even great. You can simply go to your uh, and click on view your store. And from there, see if the currency of your store has been changed. If it did, that will be great because you've changed your currency of your store. If not, you can always go and check if you save the settings of your currency before that. So if you change the currency, as an example, make sure to hit the save button and see if the currency has been changed here on your online store. If it did, that will be great, as I said. So if you reached this point of this video, congratulations, you successfully changed the currency on your Shopify store making it more convenient and appealing to your international customers. With a simple adjustment, you can improve the customer satisfaction and boost sales. So keep in mind that offering the right currency option can play a significant role in building trust and credibility with your global audience. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Shopify related tips. So thanks for watching and happy selling. And if you have any issues, you can always leave them down below in the comment section or contact the support of Shopify. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.